So I'm going to talk about uh, innovation itself, the, the, the concept of this uh, conference. What is innovation? In fact, I've been trying to get a definition for a very long time. Does it have a structure? Is it that innovation is one which just look at the sky and it falls on you? So let us look at the definitions from uh, the uh, new god called Google. Let's look at what are all that. So first, let us look at the Oxford Dictionary uh, for our definition. It says that make changes in something established, especially by introducing new methods. So new methods, ideas and products. So then I took around 15 people's definition, people who have written books on innovation, people who are running companies on, and professors who work on design. So I got a whole set of definitions. I like this answer. It says that not an easy answer. What is innovation? Not an easy answer. So you see that innovation is about staying relevant. That's also innovation. Innovation is feasible, relevant offering. I define innovation process as a great idea. Okay, executed brilliantly, all nice words. And communicated in a way that is both intuitive and fully celebrates the magic of initial concept. And so on. You can see that there are a number of them which are sort of overlaps. We'll summarize it in a minute. Then Work that delivers new goodness. New is a word which you find all the time. Value is one word which you find all the time. Creativity is thinking, is thinking of something new. Innovation is the implementation of something new. So anything that is new, useful and surprising. Why should innovation be surprising? I don't know. But these are the definitions. Let me summarize all these things and look at the words. So 60% of these definitions which I have taken, there are actually 1000 definitions. Uh, in the net. I've just taken 15 from well-known people from a website. So 60% have what is called as an idea word. 60% executing. 40% addresses a real change, challenge. Add value to the company. Add value to customers. Different perspective and so on. So if you really look at some sort of a commonality, you would find that idea is the only thing that is common. Okay, rest of this goes all over the place. So there was one interesting definition which says that like mother of all poles, something like that, he says, the mother of all definitions. It says that executing an idea which addresses a specific challenge and achieves value for both company and customer. So both company and customer. This is again innovation. Now, I've been teaching design for a very long time and uh, our 101 course I'm going to take you to my own own course. I think you should be happy to be a student at IIT. I'm sure you're all, you were all maybe. So let's go to one 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 class and define what actually is innovation. In order to do that, I'm going to look at a design process and I'm going to convert it into an innovation. There are three things that you look at. I've, I've removed the frills, removed the rest of it as far as the design is concerned. So there are three things that are important. One is a functional decomposition. Whatever we do, there's a function. Okay, and the function can be decomposed. And then I put a concept to these functions. And to preempt, it is that concept which I'm going to put is key to innovation. It is concept to a function. Then I'm going to do a concept evaluation and I'm going to introduce that as we go along. So it is a function concept evaluation. And it is that concept that we look at as an innovative process or innovation. Let's look at what we mean by function. A function is a task which acts on material, energy, or information. It's just a regular thing. So a function is defined okay, using verbs and adverbs and adjectives. Function need not be with a the product. There are maybe there are civil servants here so they may say that the function is to disperse a crowd. So disperse is the word, okay? And there is a, an adjective or a noun to it, the crowd. So disperse the crowd peacefully. So disperse is again a word. So it's not that innovation is only with respect to product. Whatever you do, okay, there's a function. So what is to be done is function, not how it has to be done. That's the next thing. 
then defined by an input and an output relationship. That's function. I take an action, okay, and there is an output to it. I disperse the crowd, okay, and the crowd is dispersed. That's fun. Overall functions is the design objective. Then what I do is I do a functional decomposition. I decompose it into a number of sub functions, sub sub functions, and so on. So once I do that, and in, in engineering there are 46 action verbs, okay, which defines actually it's very well structured, and these verbs completely defines everything because communication is very important comes through these verbs so once i have these 46 action words for example switch i can look at actuate contact protect these are the words and then i put a concept to it so once i do a functional decomposition it's common to everything then i do a concept generation uh, say for example if you look at an air freshener you can see that i have functions on the first column. Then I have a number of concepts. Concept one, two, three, four, and so on. In fact, I can make an air freshener by combining these concepts, taking one from one from this matrix and making it two third um, concept in the second function, and so on. I can make product. I can make product after product once I have decomposed it into a number of functions. So this is what is innovation all about and it, this whole institute works on this concept they are developing a concept okay the concept is to satisfy something the function so these are the concepts and the concepts generates a product right so this is not sufficient for me if i develop a concept then i have to evaluate that how do i evaluate Evaluation of these concepts come from a criteria. What are the criteria? The criteria is the most important thing to give a solution to the function. The criteria is not only the value for the person who's going to use it. If you're going to use a car, the value is just not that you want a car which transports you to from one place to the other. You also look at other value to others, for example, the environment. So value encompasses the stakeholder as well as people who may be affected by your decisions. And that's very, very important. So you, you, in this system, you cover the rest of the talks that was given here. The energy, the environment, or pollution, climate change, all those things. So, I evaluate a concept. In this whole thing, this new does not come in at all. It doesn't matter to me whether what I'm going to put as a solution is a new stuff or an old stuff. It doesn't matter. So once I do that, I do this concept evaluation, then I have a, a complete products. Just to give you an example, because I'm very worried about Ashok all the time. So, <laughs> more than the slides, I'm looking at the time. Okay, so if you really look at, a, uh, look at a vehicle, for example, you'll see that between an uh, electric vehicle and IC engines, functions have not changed. Energy, sorry, uh, energy have to, you have to store the energy. And so, both the places you have storage energy. So, lithium ion battery, you have a fuel tank. Your energy conversion here is an IC engine. Corresponding energy conversion is the electric motor. So if you really look at it, function has not changed at all. In fact, I can put a bullet cart next to it and I can compare them completely. I have nothing, no function has changed. If you have a fuel tank, I have a stomach of the bullet, of the, of the bullet. Then the value systems change. Beta people will come and tell me it's not the correct thing to do. Okay, so it is possible to look at any function, decompose it, and look at concepts to it. So, in fact, uh, the reason why I didn't put a bullock card next to it is that I didn't I didn't want to trivialize it. You have people like Professor Shankar Ram sitting here, one of the foremost automotive technologists in the country. So, I don't want to put a very trivial solution and say that look, this is nothing has changed. As far as the transport is concerned, we're next for the past 2000 years. 
सो थैंक यू वेरी मच